What do other countries slip between their bready for brekkie? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And welcome to the premiere of season 20. That's right. And this ain't just any old premiere week of GMM. No sorry, Bob. This is the week of Megacality. Which means every day this week, we're going to be hitting you with one of your favorite formats right in the eyeballs every morning, depending on your time zone. Right. We're coming out swinging. Yes, that's right. Five days of our biggest, most popular, most righteous episodes. It's going to be mega mythical. All right, we're going to be kicking things off the way I kick off my smoothie-free mornings that don't become cereal mornings, and that's with breakfast sandwiches. Because oh. there's breakfast all over the world, and there's bread all over the world, therefore... There are breakfast sandwiches all, all over, over the, the world. world. Bullseye. That's how I'm going to throw this season. <laughs> Go, underhanded. underhanded. It's time for... Where, Where in the world the do these international breakfast sandwiches, sandwiches come from? from? You know how this goes. We're going to be trying a breakfast sandwich hailing from somewhere on this globular green earth. Not to be confused with the other flatter earth, which we have represented on our map, <laughs> the flat earth. Now we're going to throw a dart at the country we think it's from and our chase, our chase, <laughs> our very own chase. Yes. We get one, you get one. Uh, our buttered biscuit cartographer chase. It will measure exactly how far we are from the right answer. Happy 20th premiere, our chase. Oh, thanks. Happy 20th premiere, my Rhett and Link. Oh! Whoever has the lowest score at the end wins, and since Rhett, you won last time, yeah. I get the special advantage dart, which is the Yolk Yeet Yark. Hmm. And the winner gets to become the Parfait Gentleman in Good Mythical More. Start it up. We got some longies here. Some sort of a that, that's hoagie. a that's a baguette of some kind, and then we've got well, we've got some black eyed peas in here, or is that beans? What's happening? Hmm. That was a bit crunchy. I think that is black eyed peas. Hmm. That's good, and it's meaty. Is there meat? Well, it is could just meat? be that the black eyed peas have made a meaty consistency. No, I think that's a meat. It is a meat. And some onion. I can't tell you what meat it is. Maybe a beef. You can or you won't. I shan't. All right, you won last time, which means I get the pleasure of you going first again. Yes. Hi, Mom. How you doing? Hi, boys. It's me, Brett's Mama. I'm so happy to see your handsome faces again. Hi. <laughs> we're so glad to see a camera. Of course, you only usually see the top of our heads for most of this, but we're not <laughs> going to forget about you, Mama Die. Anything you want me to know before I throw my first dart? Rhett, when was the last time you tried on a signature pair of Dockers khaki pants? <laughs> I, uh, Inquiring minds. I mean, that's weird, Mom. Uh, not, not recently. Wow. Speaking of pants, keep your butt in the seat. I think that the baguette, the baguette made its way to many different places in the world from France. Because the French, right. they would do so occupying. The black Eyed Peas specifically? I like some black. I thought that was just a southern thing. A Cuban sandwich, a lot of times will come on some bread like this. You're making a bunch of statements that have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> no, I'm zeroing in on Cuba, but I'm not super confident because I also think it could be Argentina. So I'm just kind of going to split the difference there. Oh, well, that was not mm. what I was intending. It, I mean, it could be anywhere because beans on toast is like a UK thing. Black eyed pea is kind of like a bean. Is it a legume? I'm yeah. on toast. I believe that it is a bean. Uh, so I kind of, I kind of feel like, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay close to France. I'm gonna go for Denmark. Woo -woo -woo. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling it, y'all. I'm fresh. Okay, you guys just ate an ndambe sandwich. Ndambe is a bean stew made with black-eyed peas, beef, onions, tomato paste, and an array of spices. When served on a baguette, it becomes a morning favorite throughout. Senegal. Oh, whoa. Senegal. Well, huh? I think I was pretty close to Senegal, y'all. <laughs> hey, season 20. Yeah, Rhett, you had five. Link, 24. You lucky Senegalese dog. I mean, you know, I mean, sometimes you just can't help it. <laughs> Look at that, Link. Good gracious. Get a load of that. <laughs> Boopy -loopy -loopy bread. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> these are, these are huge. They're, uh, they're uh, cold. This is ice cream in here. 
Smells good. With like some sort of marshmallow fluff. You just suck the fluff? I got a little of the greeny. The green ice cream. I think it's pistachio. Pistachio ice cream. I don't know. What do you call this? A nipple? A booby bagel? You all caught? Yeah, I caught it. Mmm. That's some good bread, y'all. That's refreshing. Now, I know you're still darting first that... Don't give me any hints we, now. We've, we've tasted ice cream in, in a sandwich like this before, like on bread, but I really can't remember what that translated into. I'm going with the pistachios. And pistachios are put into many desserts in the Middle East. Georgia. I was born in on Ma your Ma Macon, Georgia. Not that one. Oh, maybe it wasn't that one. Oh, yeah, I was born in the United States. Man, I'm glad. Can Mom. you verify that? You can say that again. Yeah, I was, yeah, that's right. Born, born in Macon, in Macon Georgia. Georgia. You got any tips for me, Mom? I can't tell you how happy I am in my Dockers mid rise skinny jeans. Ooh, comfy. Is, is, is that odd to you that she's taking these opportunities to talk about Dockers? I think, I think she might be sponsored. She might have a deal with Dockers. Well, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Uh, so you're, so going, I'm, I'm, you're I'm, going for Georgia. I'm going Georgia. Oh man. A little to the right, a little to the east. I think, I, I, I'm, being, I'm being drawn to South Korea. I think this is something that- Ice cream on bread. Enjoy. What is happening? Is it? I've been think, thinking about my mom and Dockers. I'm thinking about my mom and skinny jeans. And did you know Dockers has big and tall pants, shirts and shorts? Perfect for my big and tall boy. <laughs> Dude, she's getting a check she's or definitely, something, definitely. man. Mom, just to be honest with you. Are you being sponsored by Dockers? How dare you? She just loves Dockers, man. That's all it is. She just loves Dockers. South Korea. And I'm not even gonna try to, to go to the east because I'm gonna be assertive. Oh, yeah. you got an accurate toss uh, this season. Yeah. Okay, you guys just tried brioche con gelato, which consists of scoops of creamy gelato on a brioche bun. Though it seems like a dessert, it's actually a popular summertime breakfast item in Italy. Oh. oh. And actually, the boob thing, I guess, isn't just a coincidence. It's supposedly an intentional showing of Sicilians' respect for motherhood and specifically the Virgin Mary. That's nice, honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The Virgin Mary's the Virgin Mary's nipples, apparently. <laughs> All right, Rhett, you had 18, link 34. Ouch. Before we move along, in honor of today's 20th season premiere, the Golden Tea of Mythicality giveaway is back again starting today. Once again, we're giving away three different prizes. You buy this shirt right here, yep. the Silver Tea of Mythicality, and you might get a blue logo, in which case you win a mythical mystery box filled with rare, unusual, and one-of-a-kind items. What? You might get the orange logo, and you win a virtual taste test with us. And if you get the gold t-shirt, you win a signed check for $20,000 in honor of season 20. 20,000 freaking dollars. The giveaway kicks off today and runs through September 17th. Only U.S. and Canadian beasts are eligible to win, so just like last year, we're offering a $5 discount on the silver tea exclusively for beasts outside of the U.S. and Canada. For all the details, go to mythical.com. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited. Link, you're going to be excited about this, brother. Uh-huh. Oh. We got some sort of this is flat breakfast? bread with uh, uh, fish and then some fish eggs. So why not have the full... Gamut. Oh, those are berries, right? Yeah, they're just berries. Dink it. And sink it. Sink it. That's not bad. This is not my idea of breakfast. Well, that's probably because you're not from this place. Or lunch. Ugh. I like that deal. <laughs> I mean, sorry. Yeah. Not only am I losing, I'm Apology also miserable. Accepted. Lake, you seem tense. I think some Dockers Premium Heritage Chinos would do you good. I know you're sponsored. I better be getting a cut of this. Well, no I, siree. Yeah, I, I get a cut. It's my mom. Mm. Your mom's got to get her own deals. Ah. Ah. Okay, how could this not be Denmark is what I'm thinking, right? The, the, the ah. unapologetic smoked fish and caviar on top of it for breakfast. 
telling you. This is a, we're getting towards Scandinavia, I believe. And so I'm going with Denmark. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how it could be anything besides Denmark. And I just can't afford to go off the rails without any reason. I mean, South Korea, would they be doing this? Can be, I go back it, there? It could be South Korea, for sure. Can I risk it? I mean, I'm so far behind. I gotta go for Denmark. And I gotta hope that my aim stays true. Oh, yes, but not really closer than yours. <laughs> well, a little bit. Okay, the name of this open face sandwich, I can't even, it's not gonna happen for me, but right. it's called Smurberg. Maybe we'll put that in post with not S my voice. Smurberg. <laughs> It's traditionally served on a piece of rye bread smeared with butter, then artistically layered with spreads, garnishes, fish, meat, or Pretty. cheeses. Local to Denmark, of yes. course. Yes. Okay, good. All right, Rhett, you had eight. Link, seven. So I won a round. Yeah, 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 there you go, man. You're you making it up little by little. Okay, I'm going to cut one of these open. Is it, is it a fried Oh, man. Something? It's very slushy. Oh, that's some egg. You're gonna love that. Life. Oh no! That's a very, very, very gooey just, egg. I mean, I don't have a good time with the with the runny egg. Mm. That's good. I mean, it tastes good. It's it's like cornbread with a runny egg in the middle. Okay, uh, mom. It's, it's just the oozy kind of gets me. You got anything else for me, mom? Dockers. <laughs> Yeah, just come out with it. <laughs> Man, she must be getting paid well. We're going to eat real good. Do you have a coupon house. code? <laughs> I think she's got, oh, that's the pet dolphin. That's the pet dolphin that she adopted. <laughs> I've never that, heard of it. No, you can adopt pet dolphins when you've got Docker's money. <laughs> have you ever it's heard a big her make tank. that sound? <laughs> she's never, ever laughed that way for me. <laughs> This reminds me of what I know is a papusa, which uh, I think is an Ecuadorian thing, okay. which is really close to Colombia. So I'm not going to do any more thinking Colombia. Oh, I think I may have hit Ecuador. <laughs> you got you got this fried corn patty. This could be Tanzania. Never been there. Maybe one day I'll get to go. And I think this will be there. Tanzania, don't do me wrong. This is my opportunity to get back in this. Yes. <laughs> okay, what are you, you laughing just had. At? <laughs> but you said yes and to yourself. Like Ed McMahon. <laughs> yes. yes. An arepa de huevo. Mm. This deep fried maize dough sandwich is made by pulling the dough from hot oil partway through cooking, then a whole egg is cracked inside, and then it's returned to the fryer. Arepas are popular throughout South America, but arepas de huevo can be found along the Caribbean coast of... Africa. Columbia. Oh, Colombia. The, the Caribbean coast of Africa. <laughs> Dang it. Rhett, again, you had eight. Link, 38. Mm, this is a, might be insurmountable. You know what would make this better? If I was wearing Dockers. Yep. I love you, boys. Almost as much as I love Dockers. <laughs> Before our mystery round, we've got a two-parter. Some sort of s sandwich with green stuff in it. Look at that. And then uh, like a poached egg with some sort of, this th This has like ectoplasm in it. It's sweet. Ooh, creamy. Hmm. Can't tell if that's mayonnaise. Oh, dip it in that. Is that like, is that guava paste? Dip in that, that's actually excellent. Is it soy sauce and, and egg juice? I think it all kind of works sauce. together, yeah. Man. No, what is that? It has a little bit of a. It's not salty enough to be soy. Is it just like a yeasty thing? Is it gravy? I don't know, but we've got any place on the board that's not marked because it's mystery. And of course, I have. I got to use my advantage. I mean, this is this is an insurmountable lead. I'm not going to be bitter at the start of a season, but I don't look great, and it hurts. Well, hey, hey, it's not over, Link, because if you name this country exactly and get egg yolk on it, I give you the victory. Oh, yeah? Yeah, all right, so I'm, get, I'm getting rid of that. But I'm still gonna go first. I don't know if that soy sauce is kind of mixed with the egg yolk at this point, and it's hard to tell, but it has that kind of consistency, so I feel like it is on that side of the world, but the lead is so high at this point that I think you, you've you got to get it right in order to win. So I'm just gonna 
you know, throw it in the middle of the map there. I wish I knew stuff that I could say now that would make me seem like. Just make it up, dude. That's what I, I do. I had a guess. Just make it up. That's what I do. I just, I'm so tired of you doing it. Just that say, I just don't want to do it. Just say, well, maybe my mom's got something for you. Well, you know what? This, the green stuff in this sandwich. Docker Smart 360 Tech Fabric makes me feel like a new woman. <laughs> How, what do you think about that? I want some of that money. <laughs> I want that Docker's money. I'm not too interested in that. <laughs> yeah, right. It's right. It's like a pudding. And that's not soy sauce. So I'm not going it's to the very east. very tasty. I have to say a country to to give it a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, mom. That's a good one. <laughs> she did the dolphin laugh at you, man. <laughs> All right, I'm 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 sticking with Brazil. It is a big one. <laughs> Yeet! Okay, hey, hey, you hit Brazil. Yeah. I this have a shot. This will be incredibly impressive, and you definitely deserve the win if it's Brazil. Yeah, and some Dockers, I, apparently. You just tried Kaya toast. Kaya refers to the coconut jam spread between the bread, which is a popular spread all on its own in Southeast Asia. We're using green pandan Kaya. However, kaya sandwiches with a side of eggs and soy sauce is a common menu item in the local coffee shops of Singapore. Singapore, Singapore man. not yeah. anywhere near Brazil. No, no, unfortunately not. <sighs> All right, Rhett, you had 23, and Link from your closest splatter, it was 33. Mm. Thank you, Chase. <laughs> You know, bring, bring in the parfait gentleman. You know, the last time I felt this dejected was when I showed up at school in my pleated dockers and everybody had moved on to the unpleated dockers. Am I right? They say dockers compliment beards, glasses, and streaks of gray hair. Oh. No cap. <laughs> my mom just said no cap. All right. Great kickoff to the season for you, parfait gentleman. Yes. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Dockers. <laughs> Mabu, hi. This is Janelle Tadeo, and that is my bag, Rainbow. And we're in the middle of my favorite trail here in Isabella Province, Philippines. And it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Did you nice. name your mountain bike? No, but now I'm thinking I should. Yeah, you should. Rainbow. Click the top link to watch us discover the most popular breakfast items by state in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land, enter the 2021 Golden Tea of Mythicality giveaway by September 17th for your chance to win one of three extraordinary prizes, including $20,000. Visit mythical.com for details. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited.